family. Now I'd like to introduce to you our president, Father Scott Pilars. Father Pilars is completing his eighth year as the president of our university, and some of you may have heard that this summer he's moving on to Marquette University. Maybe you've heard of Marquette? <laughs> We like to think of it as the Scranton of the Midwest. In fact, just yesterday, PJ said that, uh, of course, he travels in and out of Milwaukee a lot uh, when they play the Bucks, And uh, he said he thought it was a lot like Scranton. So for one of the final times, not the last time, but one of the final times as our president, I'm proud to introduce to you the Reverend Scott R. Pilars of the Society of Jesus. Father. Thanks to all of you for being here tonight. Some months ago, Pat approached me and said, we really ought to do something to put the spotlight on the tremendous athletic tradition that is part of the legacy of the University of Scranton. And I, I wholeheartedly agreed. And he said, you know, I'm going to put together a little dinner. Fine. I thought we might do it upstairs at Russell's restaurant. <laughs> So this is an amazing success, and I cannot thank you all enough for being here tonight. This is one of the most impressive turnouts at an event in my eight years at the University of Scranton. And I think it underscores your appreciation for and your understanding of the importance of athletics in the lives of our students here at the University of Scranton. So thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your incredibly busy lives at this very busy season of the year to be here with all of us to celebrate athletics at the University of Scranton. You know, in the original plan for the schools, the Jesuit schools, first articulated in the 1540s by the first generation of Jesuits, they gave pride a place to competition. And they thought that competition among students was an effective way for young people to learn. And your being here tonight echoes that centuries-old conviction that putting young women and men on playing fields and on courts and in contexts where they'll learn character is a very important part of Jesuit education. So tonight, First and foremost, we celebrate that. We celebrate the insight that Ignatius and the First Companions had that competition was constitutive of a very important education. I want to welcome you to this first annual Royals Athletic Dinner. I got to tell you that there are a few days in a president's life that are more rewarding more satisfying than gathering alumni and friends of the university in support of our current students. Our current students are the heart of the matter. And tonight is one of those occasions in the life of a president that is so rewarding. The idea behind tonight's dinner is threefold. First, we want to celebrate the young women and men who participate in Scranton athletics. They are, in so many ways, the university's best agents and ambassadors. They represent us. They carry our brand. They embody the university's highest ideals and aspirations. Second, frankly, we want to raise much-needed funds for the nearly 400 athletes who compete on behalf of the university's nine men's teams and nine women's teams. And third, we want to recognize tonight someone who has made an incredibly rich contribution to athletics here in the history of the University of Scranton. I hope at the night's end you'll agree that we've achieved all three of those purposes. 
I'd like to begin by thanking all the members of the Carlissimo family who are here tonight. I've learned in the last eight years that there are some families who are legendary, the stuff of myth in the life of the university, and the Carlissimo family is certainly one of those families. So thanks to all of the Carlissimo family members who are here tonight. You need to know that your husband and your father continues to have a profound and lasting influence here at the university. In many ways, our athletic program continues to strive to achieve the excellence that he first articulated. And through the many stories that we've heard over the years, he demonstrated a unique form of what we call in Jesuit education core personalis, the care for individuals in their uniqueness. He did that on the field and off the field. He shaped the lives and the souls of generations of Scranton students, and for that we'll be forever grateful. I want to thank Chelsea Passman for speaking to you tonight. She's a little nervous, she told me earlier. She's a senior elementary education major, and you're going to see that in every way, Chelsea is a star. We are really fortunate you've made Scranton your home for the past four years, and we wish you all luck after your graduation. I want to thank our dear friend Jerry Roach for traveling to be with us tonight. Jerry is one of Scranton's finest and one of my closest friends in the past eight years as president here. He's a former chair of our board and a constant supporter of his alma mater. He was the first recipient of the award that Mary Beth is going to receive next October, the President's Medal for achieving distinction in one's career while at the same time demonstrating extraordinary compassion for others. I want to thank P.J. Carlissimo for being here tonight. During his career, he too has demonstrated a restless desire for excellence, motivated by the great Ignatian value of gratitude. It's what we in Jesuit higher education circles call the Magis. We are thrilled to have you here tonight as alumnus of two of our sister schools, Scranton Prep just down the street and Fordham. And finally, again, I want to thank all of you for being here tonight and for celebrating our student athletes, for recognizing their accomplishments, for aiding them in their pursuit of excellence. Our student athlete success in the future will be attributed to your support. They'll be able to travel in a way that they couldn't before. They will utilize the best equipment and facilities available. Coaches will recruit students that we heretofore have had difficulty reaching. Athletes will be able to showcase their talents through live video stream on the web and many other enhancements to the athletic program. Thank you so much for supporting Scranton Athletics tonight. Later tonight, we're going to inaugurate a new award here on the campus of the University of Scranton, an award that recognizes special contributions to the athletic department. Henceforth, that award will be known as the Pete Carlissimo Award. And henceforth, <laughs> and henceforth, this annual event will be known as the Carlissimo Dinner. God bless you. God bless Catholic and Jesuit higher education, and God bless the University of Scranton. Thank you.